Hey guys, Freddy here from Virality Gaming, and today I'm bringing you something different. Uh, like I said in my uh, channel update number four, I will be doing tutorials every Friday. So today we will be learning how to use Adobe Premiere Pro CC, and we'll be learning how to um, fade in and fade out. Uh, this will be very short videos, um, very short tutorials, but they'll be based on something that is very important and I gotta say fading is very important important especially in my videos I'd like to fade in and fade out so we're just gonna get started right now we're gonna open our Adobe Premiere this may help the people that are upgrading from Adobe Elements like I did um, anyway so I've created a tutorial fade uh, you guys can start a new project here and um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to drag in some footage. I'm going to use single player episode 8. Um, and then we're just going to drag it into the timeline. And as you can see, it will create two uh, uh, videos here. Um, one will be the edited version and one will be the non-edited. And then you have the video here as well. Um, we're just going to expand these two by double clicking so then we can see the line as you can see here the audio hasn't fully rendered so uh, don't mind that if I gave it a couple of minutes it probably would render but right now you can't see any of the spikes because it hasn't rendered but we're not going to mind uh, that won't affect us in the fading um, so how are we going to fade well I know there's a short key but I don't use the short key um, I think the short key is control D um, and that does the fading, and you could see it like that. That's a pretty cool way to fade, but let's say you wanted a slower fade, so we're just gonna get rid of that fade. Uh, and that only fades in. I don't know if there's a short key to fade out. Um, but anyway, so how we're gonna fade is we're just gonna shrink this a bit so we can zoom in. We're gonna hit Control, and we're gonna click on the line, and it'll create this keyframe. We're gonna create two of them, and what this does is it saves that position of the line. So if we move this down, it'll keep that position throughout the rest of the video, but for this part, it'll be increasing um, well, in its brightness, in its visibil uh, visibility. Um, and then we're going to do the same for the audio. We're going to do one outside, one inside, we're going to drag it down, and it will fade in the audio as well. Uh, and then we're going to um, let's say this was like a key highlight or something and I I wanted to just chop this part up and I didn't want this part here and then I'm gonna ripple delete that well no one likes to see this that that to me is just too jumpy so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fade it in fade it out uh, so we fade it in at the start of the video and now we're gonna fade it out and then we're going to fade this video in, just to make it look a bit smoother, more like a transition, like that. And that looks, to me, a lot better than, um, than this. So let's have a, let's compare the two. So that, compared to that. So it's all up to you. I say fading looks a lot better, it looks smoother, it looks like you put more care into your videos. I, I use it a lot. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you a lot. If it did, hit the like button. Let me know if there's any other tutorials on Adobe Premiere, Photoshop, um, Audacity, any of those softwares I can do tutorials on. So just leave a comment below uh, giving me a suggestion. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Remember, tutorials will be on Fridays, so stay tuned for the next video. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and see you next time. Peace. Ooh, I have no idea. <laughs> How are you doing, that bud? How are you?